Yeah. Hello, everyone. Bonjour. My name is Koji. I'm the director of Ledger Sales at Fairmont Monte Carlo. And today I'm with. Bonjour, everyone. I'm Chloe. I'm events coordinator at the Fairmont Monte Carlo. So, first of all, please excuse uh, our uh, exotic accent because I'm a Japanese and Chloe is French. So, you will already feel like you are in Monaco with our accent. So, let's start the presentation. So how to come easily to Monaco today? So we are really lucky to have an international airport near Monaco. This is the second busiest airport in France after Paris Airport, with more than 12 million passengers in 2015. Thanks to Delta, your guests can enjoy direct flight from JFK Airport to Nice Côte d'Azur Airport. But don't worry, if you are not flying from New York, uh, you can connect uh, EZD with other European hub airports. Otherwise, as you may know, Monaco is not France, but you can go quickly to go to Monaco without passing by other cities, by using buses, by using taxis, and it's really easy. Otherwise, you have a really nice option, which is the helicopter. Seven minutes flight with the second largest helicopter service in the world right after Vancouver. So this is absolutely nice. No need to organize private transfers once you arrive in Monaco as the helicopter company transfer the guests for free at the Fairmont Monte Carlo. This is absolutely nice. So welcome to Monaco. So Principality of Monaco is the name of the country. Monaco is the second smallest country in the world just after Vatican. So uh, the size actually uh, of this country is about the, half the size of Central Park in New York. And we have a very nice weather. We have 310 days of sun. So if you have a bad weather in Monaco, you can probably uh, take your chance in one of the casinos to uh, win some uh, you know, uh, uh, money. And uh, uh, Monaco is also a very, very safe destination. So uh, in such a small destination, what can you do? Actually, many, many things. Uh, already, Monaco is uh, uh, greatly located within uh, France. Well, of course, Monaco is not a part of France, but we are located in the southeast of France, very close to uh, Italian border as well. You can easily uh, combine excursions in Italian uh, cities and uh, French cities. For example, Villefranche-sur-Mer, uh, Ed Village, they are uh, very close to Monaco. It takes between 10 to 20 minutes by car, and these are the very beautiful. The, these are the very beautiful uh, medieval villages. For example, you can also combine an excursion to Italy. Italian border is about 10, 15 minutes driving away from Monaco. San Remo is about 30 minutes driving away from Monaco. You can enjoy the real Italian pasta and coffee during the day in San Remo with some shoppings. Then you can come back to Monaco to enjoy your Monaco evening. In Monaco, so we have uh, in such a small destination more than 700 events uh, year uh, around. So we have, uh, of course, uh, beautiful museums uh, like uh, uh, Oceanographic Museum with one of the oldest uh, aquarium of the world. Uh, in January, we have a famous circus festival. This is considered as the, the Olympic Games uh, for the uh, people from the circus uh, area. So you can see my uh, cousins in this photo. Uh, so uh, in this photo, you can also see uh, the opera uh, setting as well as the Monaco Prince Palace that you can visit uh, during the summer season. So I will talk about the history of the Monte Carlo area. So this old photo, you cannot see, you cannot find Fairmont Monte Carlo. You can see, uh, you can find uh, Grand Casino and Opera House already. And instead of uh, uh, Fairmont Monte Carlo location, you can find Monte Carlo train station. Uh, actually, uh, Monaco, uh, more than 150 years ago, was one of the uh, poorest country in Europe. Uh, the prince of, at that time, Prince Charles III, Prince Charles III, he uh, 
he uh, had a uh, he had to ask Monegasque people, Monaco nation, to vote uh, if they wanted to remain as a Monegasque or if they wanted to become French. Uh, at that time, many of the people, Monegasque people, they voted to become French. Actually, 90% uh, of territory was lost to France. French government paid uh, some money to uh, take over the uh, land of Monaco. And with the money uh, Monaco received, Prince Charles III had a great idea to develop this area, uh, the hill, where there were only some olive trees and lemon trees to develop a resort. It was the beginning of Monte Carlo. So he built uh, the casino, an opera house that you still can recognize the building exactly how it is today. And he brought a train service to Monaco. So all the rich people from Europe could take the train to come to Monaco and go to the casino and the opera house directly from this train station. So um, Prince Charles III, he wanted to give uh, his name to this area. So Mount of Charles, Mont Charles in French, but Mont Charles in French, of course French is the official language in Monaco, but Mont Charles uh, for this place uh, was a little bit too difficult to pronounce and remember for the foreigners. So he had again another great idea to call this area in Italian way because uh, opera was very popular at that time and opera was uh, very often sang in Italian. So instead of calling this area Mont Charles, Mount of Charles, Monte Carlo in Italian way, which became the name of this famous place. So now we jump to the 1970s uh, with the inauguration of our hotel, formerly named uh, Rose Monte Carlo. In 1975, this beautiful, elegant lady inaugurated the hotel. I'm sure that everybody can recognize this lady. Chloe, well, you are a little bit young, but uh, I'm sure you know who she is. Of course, she is like Princess Grace Kelly. Absolutely. So Grace Kelly is our godmother of the hotel who inaugurated the hotel in 1975 at Los Monte Carlo. We became Fairmont about 11 years ago, so this is how it is now. So here it is, the famous Fairmont Monte Carlo. So as you can notice on the picture, the Fairmont Monte Carlo is at the heart of Monaco, but not only uh, Monaco, at the heart of Monte Carlo, which is absolutely the place to be, trust me. So we are at the front row to appreciate the, the Mediterranean show, as you can see. The building itself is half on the sea and half on the land, and most of the time we are comparing the hotel with a cruise ship. The hotel is at the heart of Monte Carlo, and uh, maybe you know that we have two entrants. Our second entrance at the seventh floor, we are one minute walk from the famous Casino Square and the Opera House. As you may already know, our main entrance is on the famous Grand Prix Serpin. The Grand Prix is every year on TV, so please uh, come on uh, on uh, at the end of May, right, Koji? At the end of May, because every year on TV, and this would be a great occasion for your clients to talk about where they stay, because they're going to recognize this place, and they will remember again and again, thanks to your recommendation, where they were and the memorable experience. I would like to add one thing, because there are many beautiful hotels on the French Riviera, including Monaco, but it's quite difficult to find a hotel really on the water. Uh, most, and actually all the hotels in Cannes and Nice uh, on the sea, they have the street between the hotels and the sea, but we are one of the rare uh, hotels on the Côte d'Azur, which is really on the water. Just to let you know, we have four luxury hotels within Monaco area. So we have the Hotel de Paris, its sister hotel the Hermitage, the Metropole, and us, so the Fairmont Monte Carlo. The, differ the difference sorry, between US and uh, these three other hotels is that out of three other hotels, they are European style. And the Fairmont Monte Carlo is more like contemporary luxury hotel. This is very fresh, this is open, this is a spacious hotel. You have a special and rare atmosphere, and it's very relaxing. In fact, 
clients, they are just enjoying a relaxed luxury. Hello. So we have uh, uh, 602 rooms uh, between uh, the rooms with the garden view, with the sea view, and very famous happy turn view. This is uh, our Fairmont garden view room. Uh, 35 square meters, it makes uh, 377 square feet. So as a European standard, it's a very spacious room, and all the rooms have a balcony, which is uh, large enough to have one table, two chairs, and sun deck for all the rooms. Of course, in all the rooms, we also have a kettle to make hot water, free Wi-Fi internet access, as well as iron board, etc. You have everything you need in our rooms. We also have beautiful deluxe sea view rooms, uh, again 35 square meters, 377 uh, square feet. And uh, you really feel like you're on the cruise ship uh, in this sea view room. Uh, maybe only differences that you have uh, are that the room is much larger than on the cruise ship. You feel like you are in a suite of the cruise ship. And also you never get sick because the hotel doesn't move. <laughs> we have different and beautiful suites as well. This is an, one of our uh, suites called Grand Prix Suite. Uh, the uniqueness of this room is that we have two balconies overlooking the beautiful breathtaking Mediterranean Sea, but also we have uh, another balcony overlooking the hairpin turn of the Grand Prix. We welcome the many, many uh, celebrities in this suite. So, Koji, what makes us unique? First of all, the Fabulous Horizon restaurant open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So at the Horizon restaurant, a wonderful rooftop restaurant, where your guests have the opportunity from 6.30 to 11 to have breakfast. This is a breakfast, this is a bucket breakfast, which uh, it serves a large choice of breakfast, hot, and cold options. This is amazing because they are having breakfast in front of three countries in front of France, in front of Italy, and in front of Monaco, Monaco sorry. And sometimes you can even find out Corsica Island. Oh. So this is, yeah, this is a very cosmopolitan breakfast. Then the Horizon restaurant has a very delightful Mediterranean menu, and you can have lunch and spend the memorable moments with your family, friend, or your lover. The Horizon restaurant is the best place to, to start or to end a day in style. Not only open for breakfast or for lunch and dinner, as I told you, we also propose every Sunday a brunch called the Pink Sunday. Under the sun and thanks to our pink team, you can enjoy your barbecue or multiple choice of salads. This is amazing. The brunch is highly appreciated by our guests, but not only our guests, also by locals. Attached to the now famous Horizon restaurant, you will find our champagne bar, where you can enjoy more than 40 different champagne. If your guests would prefer being closer to the sea, they will find the Sapphire 24. They also have the opportunity to take their breakfast all day long and in front of the breathtaking Mediterranean, as you can see on the picture. The Sapphire 24 is open 24-7 and is comparing to the French Bistro. You know the menu is the, and, the, and the atmosphere in the restaurant feels like um, Parisian style coffee, but where you can eat French baguettes nearly with your feet on the sea. This is really nice, you see. This French Bistro become a really nice bar at night where live band performs every weekend and where Massimo, our sommelier, will suggest you the best wine to taste according to, to the period. Otherwise, for cocktails and dinners, your guests have the opportunity to taste the French savoir-faire. Meals are well prepared by your kitchen team, laid by the well-known French chef, Philippe Joannes, that you can see in the picture. He has been awarded with the prestigious French title, Meilleur Ouvrier de France, which means one of the best craftsmen of France. In his place, he will always try to put the best Mediterranean flavors so that your guests can enjoy a trip in the, in the Mediterranean gastronomy. And the Novo Koji. 
Yes, as a Japanese, I can guarantee you that you have great uh, food at Nobu. Uh, but it's even for me, uh, it's very uh, surprising and discovering because Nobu is not a traditional Japanese food, but uh, Japanese fusion food. So I have uh, many uh, discoveries in this restaurant each time I have uh, a dinner. So we also uh, propose happy hour at the bar of Nobu with some tapas and uh, very nice drinks. And from Nobu also, you have a great breathtaking view. And for couples, you can enjoy a romantic dinner on the terrace of Nobu in a small table overlooking the, the yachts and the Mediterranean Sea. And what makes us unique also at the seventh floor, guests will find a nice rooftop pool open year round. They have a free access to this unique pool and also in winter. As you may know, it's never too cold or it's never too hot in Monaco. And of course, this is heated water. I'm sure you can imagine in front of this picture a nice frame in front of the three countries and the wordless beauty of the Mediterranean landscape. As you may know, we are proud to have been chosen by Nikki Beach to be the Nikki Beach in Monaco. The concept started in Saint-Tropez and is well known all over the world. I think you have one in Miami, for instance. And our guests can enjoy cocktails, they can enjoy tapas all day long around the sea within a lounge atmosphere. And a lot of events are organized such as fashion show around the pool with famous DJ. During the evening, Nikki Beach is coming one of the places to be in the Principality to have drink and to party. For instance, we organize trendy parties such as the Super Heroes Party. So we also have a very beautiful Fairmont Spa with 18 spacious uh, treatment rooms. Some of them are equipped with a jacuzzi uh, and some of them are for couples. And this uh, Fairmont Spa had been awarded as the Monaco's leading spa resort in 2016. We also have a fitness center. Very often the fitness center you can find in the hotel is um, in, on the basement or on the back side of the building, but uh, it's not the case in our hotel. We have a fitness center on the rooftop overlooking the very famous Hairpin Chan of the Grand Prix. And you can follow the uh, beautiful uh, sports cars uh, from your fitness center, so probably you will run even faster. So our guests are from all over Horizon and are all diverse. Family, friends, couples are more than welcomed, of course. Also at the hotel, this is not far from the Monaco Harbor, so this is a famous place to fall pre- and post-nights, because as Koji told you, they continue feeling on the cruise ship. Hello, who loves us exactly? They love us. Koji, can you tell me who is on the picture, maybe? So the Japanese gentleman in the middle is Nobu-san. So uh, he came to the hotel and he, he sometimes come to the hotel to uh, check all the quality of Nobu, Nobu food. Uh, so uh, this is Nobu-san. Next to Nobu-san with the uh, Day Ray uh, hat. Uh, this is maybe difficult to recognize, but this is Robert De Niro. And I come from, I come from this is Robert De Niro. And also you have Prince Albert with his wife, Charlene, who loves coming to the hotel in other ways comes to drink Italian coffee at the, at the Sapphire 24. In fact, Koji told you that Monaco is one of the safest places on earth. A lot of celebrities are living there, such as Shirley Bassey or Novak Djokovic also. And we are also popular on social media. I mean, very popular, with more than 50,000 likes on our fa Facebook page, which is often fed by our great communication team. So do not hesitate to follow their likes and to check out our Facebook page. And to finish with, we are very, very proud to announce you that the World Luxury Hotel Awards have chosen us, so the Fairmont Monte Carlo, to be the best luxury coastal hotel in Europe in 2016. 
So what can you do in uh, 2017 this year in Monaco and in Fairmont Monte Carlo? So of course uh, in April we have the very famous tennis tournament. Uh, in September uh, it, this became uh, the biggest, uh, world biggest uh, luxury yacht show in September. This is uh, at the uh, port of Monaco. Then obviously everyone knows about the Grand Prix in Monaco in the end of May every year. We are just in front of this famous hairpin turn of the Grand Prix. We also have about 40 rooms overlooking the hairpin bend. So this is really the place to be and place to be seen. So thank you very, very much for your attention.